Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, I've heard a thousand stories of
very dear to my heart. I want to talk to you about let the peace of God rule your heart. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 15, it says exactly that. It says, let the peace of God rule your heart. Now that word rule is a very interesting word in this particular passage, this verse. You can actually substitute that word rule for umpire. So as you read it again, let the peace of God act as an umpire in your life. So what Paul is saying is that someone can walk into your life, into an in, indecisive situation, and make a decision that will really count. And as a child of God, in our walk with God, let the peace of God continually rule in our life. At least 11 times it's mentioned in the New Testament that the peace of God should be able to rule your life. So I want to make four observations about the umpire. And no, one of the observations is not kill the umpire because the umpire makes some decisions that we don't like. So I'm not going to mention the fact that, that sometimes he will make decision that we don't agree with, but yet we have to go along with the umpire. So four observations about the umpire. Number one is the umpire is needed because of opposing sides, because of two different forces, two different agendas, and two different views. And there's always tension in the ball game and the umpire is there to resolve the tension. He recognizes and realizes that his decision will be the ultimate decision made. Number two, the umpire is under pressure to please both sides. Both sides want to have their way and have the umpire rule in their favor. The third observation is the umpire is Calm under pressure. He's made a decision and that decision is going to stand. Fourth, the fourth observation is the fact that his decision is the one that counts. You realize whatever the umpire decides is what, what is going to go in the book. Paul says, let the peace of God rule or umpire your life. You know what he is saying. It is allow God to be the ultimate, the ultimate decision in your life. You say, well, I, I really don't know what to do. Most of us prolong that process longer than is necessary. Why? because we let our humanness get in the way. We let our flesh get in the way. We want to do things our way. Do you remember the old Frank Sinatra song? I did it my way. We want to do things our way, but yet we still want the blessings of God in our life, even if we're doing things our own way. And the most miserable people that I've ever known in life are believers, are Christians that are doing things they shouldn't be doing and they're wondering why they don't have the peace of God in their life. We want to disobey and yet we want to have peace in our disobedience. We want a clear conscience. We want a restful spirit but we're going against the umpire of our life. He stands calmly by, and this is what I love about God, He stands calmly by, and He says, He says to us, this is what should happen. He is making the call that we need in our life to have that peace, and He wants us to have peace. And so what we have to do is we have to give God obedience in our life and give him all the different decisions that we're going to make we let him make those decisions and when we do that god will give us the peace beyond understanding
Thank you for joining with us. Welcome in. We're so delighted you joined us. We want to share with you our, our ministry. And we believe that you can be a, a part of our ministry. We, we want, we'd love for you to come alongside us and partner with us in Grand Chris Ministry. We have so many wonderful things happening right now. It's This is a brand new season in our lives. After 50 plus years of ministry, uh, we're getting so techy it's just blowing my mind. We're actually, <laughs> <laughs> we're actually, we're actually um, having online services live and with worship, brand new songs we're writing, amazing messages and sermons. Um, Nanny Bones Kitchen, and we're just doing a lot of fun things on Friday. It's not just recipes and cooking. There's a lot of life lessons that we're talking about. I just think it's a wonderful time in our lives. And I do hope that you feel the love, the care, uh, support from our ministry. We truly do care about people. We do. So partner with us. On tithing. Tidely. Tidely. It's actually, it's been on uh, our services. It's on Nanny Bones. And uh, if you'd like to help us, we are helping other people. Uh, we're, we're doing things not just for the, the people near us, but we're, we're reaching into the community, we're reaching far away, uh, helping other people. That's what Brankus Ministries is about is pouring out and helping and, and seeing the needs of other people taken care of. So we would love for you to be a part of our ministry. We would love for you to feel the impact of what we're doing. We're empowering other people through Grand Quest Ministries. Great things are happening. Right. Wonderful thing. It's exciting. It is. So please, be a part of us. Look on our Richard and Nancy Grandquist Facebook page. We're doing a lot of stuff live. Um, it's just incredibly exciting. You'll feel new energy, at least I do, do you bet? Yeah, absolutely, being around you, I'm always energized. <laughs> um, anyway, join us, be a part of us. Uh, we wanna empower people around us that want to do something great for God, please join us.